Eric Darling here with Eric Darling data, 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 or just Darling data, 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 or just Eric Darling. Uh, we're going to talk about why is numeric sucks and why, and, and why you shouldn't use it and alternatives you have to using it. And I'm going to sneak in um, uh, also why I get annoyed with the try cast function <coughs> in some circumstances. So, uh, let's start. Let us begin, gather around children, by putting all of these things into a table. A temp table, because I am staunchly anti-table variable. All right, so we have a dollar sign, a comma, a period, a one with some commas, a dash, a plus sign, uh, whatever a car, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 is, I sort of forget. And uh, let's look at the output of this. Now, the isNumeric function is dead certain that all of these things are numeric. Not numeric, darling, just, just numeric. So a dollar sign is numeric, a comma is numeric, a period is numeric, a one with two commas around it is numeric, a minus sign is numeric, a plus sign is numeric, and whatever the heck these <laughs> blank ASCII characters are, are also numeric. Now, where TriCast falls a little bit short on us, and, well, not I mean not short, it's not wrong, it's just, so like, I get it, like, if, returns a null if it can't convert something but then it returns a zero when it can and that can that can lead to some confusing logic for some folks out there who are somewhat dim-witted like yours truly um, I don't know that's that's about it <laughs> at least right now but uh, if you use a sort of regex-ish reg expression you will get uh, what I believe correctly are zeros all down this line here. And I always have to look this up whenever I need to do it, except now I get to look it up on uh, my blog because I have a post about it and I have this video about it. But if you say where t.n, in this case, because my table is aliased correctly as t, and the column's name is n, you say where that is not like this expression right here, all right, this string, percent, open bracket, caret, 0 through 9, close bracket, percent. This will tell you if there are any characters in a row, well, in a, in a particular, uh, you know, column row, it, that, uh, that are not the number 0 through 9. And I know this logic is a little bit obtuse and feels a little bit backwards, but that's... That's what we're looking for here. So that's good. All right, we can return consistent zeros for things that are not the number zero through nine, which are probably the things that we care about the most. Um, if you wanted to make allowances for uh, dots and commas, you could do that uh, in here as well, but that is totally up to you. Now, where things get annoying for me with TriCast, it, and it, try convert that'll do the same thing for both of these is the whole point of can you try to do this for me is that you expect to get a null back if you can't do it if you try and fail you should get back a null that doesn't always happen though let's take for instance we do this Explicit, explicit conversion from data type unique identifier to int is not allowed. Then return a null. Give me a null. Just g give me a null. I know it can't be done. I want a null back. Now, this is a, a not terribly common occurrence, I, I agree. But um, there are uh, at least various points in SQL Server's DMBs where... Uh, there are SQL variant columns, and those SQL variant columns, of course, are 
uh, use that data type, that horrible mistake of a data type, because they have all sorts of different things in them. Some of those things are GUIDs. Some of those things are numbers. Some of those things are strings. Uh, there's just all sorts of crap jammed into them. And if you want to try to cast that column as something else, or if you want to try to filter on where, uh, you know, try cast to something sends back uh, a not null value, where try convert, try cast, try convert something is not null, which, you know, again, isn't the greatest idea query-wise in the world, but if you're querying system DMVs, who cares, really? You can throw all the crap at those you want and <laughs> probably turn out just about the same because the code behind them is absolutely wackadoodles. So anyway, don't use is numeric. Uh, try convert, try cast can be tricky. Uh, they can lead to some weird logic hoop jumping that you may want to do. And uh, what I find to be the most reliable thing to do is use not like, and uh, again, this expression right here, to uh, filter out rows that can, uh, values that contain things that are not the numbers 0 through 9. If you're aware of any numbers that uh, are not, that are outside the bounds of 0 through 9 that could be used in here, I don't mean 11, because 11 is two ones and all that stuff. Uh, then please let me know, because uh, I would like to patent them as soon as possible. Cool. All right. That's good. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope you learned something. I hope that you have been enlightened. I hope that you have had quite the epiphany watching this video. Uh, if, you, if you feel enlightened and epiphanized, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'll give you a dollar if you do it in the next 30 seconds, starting now. Uh, 30 seconds is up. Sorry about that. I move fast around here. All right, cool. Uh, thank you again for watching. You are beautiful.